Hey everyone, this is Gleb and in the previous video I explained how to get the number of elements that might be different depending on situation, how to print it, how to make sure to wait for the list to load and so on. You can find the full recipe online at myglebachmodel.com, Cypress examples. In this video I will go beyond what I consider the basics of testing and instead I'll cover a case it's pretty common and yet many people are struggling to write it using Cypress. Imagine you're loading a list and the list appears after, you know, let's say one second. In half of cases, the list will have three items like right here, but in other half, the list might be empty. How would you confirm that the list is either empty or has three elements? Well, right now we use sci-get command and we are getting the parent element. If we just find li elements, well, this will work if the list has three items. We can confirm it. Should have length three. If there are three items, everything works. But let's restart the test a couple times. And in a case when there are no elements, right, an empty list, well, the test fails. Cypress assumes that if you're finding an element by selector, that that element should be present. If you want to confirm that there are no elements, you have to explicitly say should not exist or should have length zero. But this case will not work if there are actually three elements. Let's reload this a couple of times, right? In fact, this test fails because it doesn't even wait for the items. We can add a wait of you know, maximum time, let's say two seconds, and then see if our logic is correct and it's incorrect. Okay. And if we just say it's property length and use should uh, be one off, like in the previous examples, so either zero or three, well, this will fail because we find um, has a built in existence assertion by itself. So let's see it. I'm going to rerun this a couple times. I could modify the application code, but it's easier to run. Okay, right here. It fails at scifind command. Okay, well, we have to disable the built and existing assertion because zero elements might be a valid answer. So we can say should and we can provide a dummy callback function, just like this. So in this case, we waited two seconds for the data to load, might have elements on the page, might not. We are okay with elements not being present. In that case, we still get the jQuery property length and it could be either zero if there are no elements or three elements, like in this case. And let me show you how to better solve this problem in general. We added a hard-coded weight because we didn't know just by looking at the page, if application is still loading the data, because there is nothing to say, oh, you're still loading the data. That's why there are no elements or you have loaded the data. You finished and there are no elements to, to find. Okay. So here's what we can do in our application logic. We can say, it doesn't matter if we have three elements or did not add any elements, we can grab you know, an element, let's say document, query, selector, you know, ID, fruits, right? The same element we're working with and we can set attribute, for example, data loaded and we'll say to true. Okay. So this parent list should have data loaded attribute and we can replace weight with, right? Even right here should have attribute jQuery assertion data loaded and let's give it a value so that we continue working with the same original element after that. So let's see how this works. Notice after one second, it goes on to the find command because this is as fast as possible. It only waits until application sets the attribute. Now this was the case with three elements. Now let's get a case when there are zero elements right here. So we waited for the data loaded attribute to be set. We grab the li elements, 
we disabled the built-in existence assertion by providing a dummy should callback, grab the length of jQuery object and said it could be either zero or three elements. So this is how I would make sure that my tests know when the application has finished loading the data, just to make sure you're not waiting in forever or longer than necessary. And you actually distinguish between the case where you haven't loaded anything, that's why there are no elements, and the case when you finish loading and there are zero elements returned by the application.